Hi, my name's Mark Friend and I'm the director here at Friend & Grant Chartered Accountants. So what are shareholder agreements and partnership agreements and why are they so important? The vast majority of business ventures are set up by individuals or by couples who are either married or in a close personal relationship. For couples, this will usually be a trading partnership or, if it's a limited company, as shareholders and directors. And usually that is the end of the matter. But what happens if you're going into business with someone who is not your life partner or close relative, such as a friend or remote relative, or even someone who you've just built up a business relationship with, or someone who simply wants to invest in your business? Is there something more you should have in place? In a blog I wrote a while back, which you can get the links to below, I wrote about this very issue. I looked at the problems which arose in the hypothetical partnership between two individuals which from experience I have seen happen on many occasions. The reality is that when things are good, the business relationship between the partners is generally fine. However, what happens when there are arguments and deadlock arises, or if someone is not pulling their weight, or worse still, someone dies or goes on long-term illness? There are lots of things which can happen and the purpose of the partnership agreement or shareholders agreement is to cover how the business should be run, the split of the profits, what will happen in certain scenarios, etc. Agreeing the steps you need to take before you end up in dispute can save so much heartache, wasted time and cost. If you want to find out more about shareholder or partnership agreements, then email me or call me using the links at the end of this video. Or why not just read my blog?